Well, good morning from Northern Ants. This is Mark with Mark's Beavis, and we are heading out to do another yellow jacket ground nest uh, out from a root system of a tree or like a bushes uh, in the front yard. So, hope you enjoy the, the video. Remember to hit that like button, subscribe if you've not done so, and I will talk to you in the comments. Okay, we are at our next job. Yellow jackets. Probably getting. Yeah, there the sun's on my face now. Got a yellow jacket nest in the amongst the trees here. Where they're going in and out between the second. You can see where the entrance is. Here, we'll get a close-up shot of it. I want to get my gloves on first. There's a entrance is right there. Try to decide which way to come at them from. Let's see which way they're going in there. This is the back side where the entrance is. So, more than likely, I don't know if you can, that's probably right in here somewhere. Well, I try not to damage the entrance area. If possible. Oh, oh, yep, yep, yep. Hey there. Coming at me already. Yep, there. More than likely it's uh get back here somewhere. See how the ground kinda moves a little bit. I try to take this out. Keep that entrance as pristine as possible for the trap. Yeah, see there. I'm gonna try to pick this chunk up. Oh my God! <laughs> See if you break into the nest too early, then they they will swarm out at you. You want to keep them contained as much as possible, or they will get you, even with the suit. I think there's a weed barrier in here. I'm wondering if the nest is in under that weed barrier. Get as much of this case in there as possible. Yeah, see they there it is. That's where the nest is at. There's a, you can see there's a little hole right there. There's one little hole right there that they're yep, breaking. Nest 
this is off to the other side. Of it. Yeah, they're attacking the camera too. And the spray. <laughs> These are the, the little bit smaller yellow jacket. They are the more vicious. I'm gonna need another can of spray. This is pretty big, I think. I'm gonna run and grab another can of spray just in case. I'm gonna leave it on the on the hole in case you get. Okay. Each side, side of the nest there. I'm gonna fill that real good. I can run and get another can. Yeah, I had to go grab another can because this one's almost out. <laughs> if I break into this nest, you're not gonna be. Very hospitable towards taking a moment to go get another one. Yeah, that's one thing, these wasps are small. Boy, they pack a punch. Try to maintain this cover material. <laughs> yep, that, that can is gone. Okay. Okay. Branches on there. Okay. Move on to the next can. Don't want to be shooting less. Than And this goes way over here. Here, try flipping it. <laughs> Want to be certain shooting as we as we flip here. Keep them keep them down. Yep, biggest mess I've come across this season so far. Make sure there's nothing inside. And eventually fly out of here after the. That's a. Queen must be down in the hole somewhere. Hey, what's 
bringing us out to the sun so you can see it over there. Let's see if I can find the queen body in here. But sometimes it gets pretty difficult to find. See her, but yeah. Yeah, all the darker color cells are ones that are hatching today and the next couple days. And then the queen will lay a new egg in each one and the cycle will start again. All those larvae will be hatching. Probably won't go down there now that I got the camera on it, but there was a couple of them already fell down for the trap. Sometimes what happens is one will come back and is so anxious to get into the hole, their wings will, wind from their wings will push the next wasp down into the trap sure that the entrance is completely open. Because they don't know that the nest isn't there anymore and they think that hole is there. Oh, there one went just down, went down. Once they go down in there, they can't get back out. It's full of water with spray in it. Yep, there went another one. When it comes to the... Tonight, when the sun starts going down, they're going to be really anxious to get back to the nest, and they're going to just be trying to pile in there. I had people tell me that the jar was completely packed with wasps. The other, whoop, whoop, get down there close, and sometimes one would push the other one in. Usually it becomes like a, there goes one, like a chain reaction when there gets lots of them. See, there another one went down.
you're still kind of leery of the hold. The more that return, the quicker they're going to start falling for it. There it went. Oh, he made it back out. Wait. Spray a little more. As if he get down in there. I want him to be able to get out when I'm going to get caught. Get it up to the to the lip so that when they get down there, they whoop right like that, fall in. Get spider stringing around in there. There, when a couple just went down. Walk around the other side and see how the what the swarm is like on that side. Now that side doesn't look like anything's changed, so it's good. It'll make so that they fall for the trap a lot quicker once the commotion is gone. Mm -hmm. they, they get in there and they pull out just the nick of time. Oh, not that one. Okay, well, hope you enjoyed this video. All right, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't done so. I appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day. I figured I'll show you from this angle. This is where the entrance was. Now, if you look in there, you can see the bottle trap right where the entrance used to be. And as night comes, there's a lot still flying around, but as it gets dark, they'll start to pile in there quicker than what they can pull back out and they will start falling for that trap pretty quickly. Do some spray a little around the outskirts so that they land over here. It uh they'll kinda drive them to the other direction. Thank you so much for watching the video. If you enjoyed it, please remember to hit that subscribe button if you have not done so and the bell icon so you know when the next video comes out. Also, please comment down below what you thought. I really appreciate it. You have a great rest of your day, and I will talk to you in the comments.